Makeup Monday is the retro edition with Wonder Girls Be My Baby. We are very happy with this song. Very happy. Wonder Girls have such an uplifting, doo-wop kind of sound to them that it just doesn't feel like a regular K-pop song. Especially since people are starting to say that K-pop is getting a bit too sexy as of late. We're really happy to see that Wonder Girls can release a song that sounds like it's from a innocent, more pure era. And yet, they still totally freaking rock it and make it fresh. Although I also like this song, there was one part that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Here we have like a light-hearted, like doo y kind of love song and I'm all like, yeah! Be my baby! And then suddenly there's like this rap sequence. Why? Now my complaint here is not about her rapping ability. I actually think her rapping's not that bad. The problem is that it's just so out of place in this song. It just doesn't fit the genre at all. It's like they're taking two totally different genres and trying to like mash them up together. I saw this kitty as I walked to the store. She was pretty and little and gold. She said, I said, Kitty, that rap was real dope. I saw this girl walking in the store. She stole my heart, so I said to her, Hey, pretty girl, you in the store? Let's go dance on the dance floor. You take my heart, I take the locket, jump to my heart just like a rocket. And she said, No, you're such a freaking weirdo. And she said, No. I guess what we're trying to say here is that not every single K-pop song needs to have like a breakdown rap sequence. As for the music video itself, we're equally as impressed by the music video as we are by the song. And I know some of you are gonna try to call us out on this because it kind of looks like a super junior video and that it has a whole bunch of well-dressed people dancing in an oddly lit room. But although this does take place in an oddly lit room, they make really good use of their surroundings rather than just seeming like they're trapped in them. So we're not as bored by the rooms as we are as usual. The floor moves while they're dancing and it creates this like kind of weird optical illusion as if the camera's like panning around them, but the camera's not moving at all. It's really cool. Also, they really took advantage of the height and size of the room. At the beginning, it kind of looks like they're standing on flat ground, but then the camera starts to move and it reveals that they're actually on a really huge lit staircase. And the camera work is also awesome. It's not like a whole bunch of messy, quick, shaky zooms. It actually moves with the beat of the song. We really, really appreciated that. Our last complaint is a really tiny complaint, but it's gotta be said. And I know a lot of you are gonna agree with me on this one. See? A lot of producers and agencies like to mention their names at the beginning of their songs. Brave sound. This is Morny present. Get out of here. Why can't they be involved? But no one is quite as guilty of this as JYP. JYP, we're big fans of your music. 2PM, Miss A, Wonder Girls, they're all awesome and you're doing a great job with them. But please, for the love of ranch dressing, stop whispering or shouting your names at the beginning of every single freaking song. Or even in the middle of people's songs. It's the JYP dot. I mean, we know, we know they're your songs. How do we know? Because if you look at the video, you have a huge freaking staircase with your name all over it. Come on now, do you really need to tell everybody about everything you ever do? Oh God, is that you? Oh my, that was not, that is nasty. That was not me, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. That was totally Brian. Oh, oh, oh God. JYP! Oh, sick, come on, honestly. JYP exclusive. JYP oh, here? Oh, sick, I'm getting off. Ugh. I'm with this. Now before I start talking about the dance, I've got to ask you guys, was anyone else reminded of a different black and white dance heavy music video? You know the one where the lead singer's hair is like pinned up into a big puff and, and, and they're wearing those like black kind of body suits and you know the one I'm talking about, right? And there's even that little tiny dance sequence that really reminds me of that other video. Oh, come on guys, you know what I mean, right? Anyone? Whoa, oh, 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 oh. 
anyways, now that that's off my chest, I was actually quite pleased with this dance sequence. Wonder Girls usually don't mess around with anything complicated. I find their dances are pretty simple, and this video is no exception. It seems like the Wonder Girls choreographer is really into matching lyrics with like clear sign language type dance moves. Now I get the please be my baby part, but what I don't get is the be my lady part. I guess it's kind of difficult to figure out what kind of dance can represent a lady, so I really would have loved to be there in the room when the choreographer was trying to figure that out. Wonder Girls be my baby dance sequence, take one, action! Make me your lady, uh, make okay, me cut, your cut, lady. Okay, cut, 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 cut. Uh, no, a bubble popping is a bit too sexy. Oh. Take two, action! Make me your lady. Oh, cut, cut, make cut, 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 cut. No, that's too old fashioned. Old fashioned? Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. Take three, action! Make me your lady. Make um, me cut, your cut, lady. cut, 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 cut. Ah, uh, no, no, that's just a bit too accurate. As for the English of the song, we give the say. Five out of five. Now there isn't really a strong focus on English in the song. The chorus has two lines of English in there that make perfect sense, so no complaints whatsoever. And we also like how the first words of every line of the main verse are in English. And if you look at those words on their own, they kind of rhyme. At first it looks like they're just thrown in there, but really if you look at it, it's a really quite clever use of English. We're really quite happy with that. Good job Wonder Girls. Good song, good video, good English. Me gusta. That's the me gusta face. Last week we asked you who got played the worst, JYJ in Get Out or Miss A in Goodbye Baby. And the winner was, ooh, JYJ. Most people said that Miss A, even though the revenge was a little bit odd, still got revenge, while JYJ was just kind of like, yeah, we got you. I'm gonna go home and cry now. <laughs> For this week's retro edition, we asked which retro video you preferred. Tiara's Roly Poly or Wonder Girls Be My Baby? Leave your votes in the comments or in our Facebook poll and we'll announce some winners next week. Also, thanks to everybody who requested Wonder Girls this week. If there's a video you want to see us do for next week's K-Pop Music Monday, head on over to eatyourkimchi.com slash request and tell us who we should do a video for. Oh yeah, it's giveaway time. We just recently passed 100,000 subscribers while we were in Canada. And now that we're back in Korea, we want to say thank you so much to you guys. So we're going to be giving away two copies of the new Wonder Girl CDs. If you want to win, here's what you got to do. For our YouTube subscribers only, let us know what is your favorite part of the music video and why. We'll pick our two favorite answers and announce the winners next week. Also, because we're so nice and we give away all these CDs, don't forget to like and favorite this video and to subscribe for more K-pop music Mondays. Take it away, Spudgy.